Hello everyone, Northwestern Railway Productions back again with another review, because I'm bored and I have nothing better to do besides work on Magic Railroad, which I said in my last video that I can't. And yeah, I'm wearing the same shirt as last time, but that's because I don't have any other shirts and I just washed this and it's really hot. So uh, yeah, you may be questioning to yourself, Northwestern, why are you making this review? Because, I, like I just said in the intro, I have nothing better to do. So today we're going to be reviewing the 1999 Wooden Railway Gordon and compare it to the 2003 Wooden Railway Gordon. And I just forgot that I wanted to compare it to the 2022 era Gordon, but currently I don't have that at the moment. That's, at, that's way at my dad's because I forgot about it. So, uh, yeah, today um, we're going to be discussing... Comparing and pretty much just reviewing the item itself. Sorry, this is really bugging me. So first, so let's first take a look at at this Gordon. Okay, I'm gonna do a dramatic zoom in. Zzz. That was some poor animation that I just did. So this Gordon, this is just a very simple looking Gordon. It's not that it's not that complicated, and it's not so full of stupid fucking designs uh it doesn't have the lining and on this side the paint the paint has been chipped to hell and back and so on and so forth but uh so far nothing is like i don't know he's missing his uh boiler arch thing whatever the fuck you call that and uh i don't know god this just kind of bugs me and, uh, I really like the face. The face is my favorite part. Either my eyes are really blurry or my cam or my front face and camera's blurry. But now let's move on to the tender. Um, the tender is, uh, it looks, it looks kind of, I mean, it looks fine. Uh, the coal's plastic, the wheels and, st and such. Um... It's not a flat magnet, which kind of disappoints me because I will I want to get the flat magnet ones, and uh, yeah. Also, I've never understood the point of this, but what's the point in the widow's peak in the back? I've never understood that. And uh, yeah, Gordon Gordon wor works fine. I don't have my wooden railway track at the moment, but I got my Tommy and Trackmaster track, and he rolls along uh, rolls along just fine. And he works perfectly with other with other trains. But we Yeah, that's basically it. So now let's now let's look at now let's look at the new wooden railway Gordon from 2003. Um kind of a massive improvement here. The window lining is painted, the firebox arch thing, it's there. There's actually lining, there's handrails. Here, I'll give up, I'll, I'll just show you guys. The lining is there, the windows are painted, the arch is there, the widow's peak has been taken out, and there aren't that many paint chips, and Gordon's face has dramatically changed in, in the last 20 years. Um, but we're not going to be comparing just yet, even though I just did that, because I still want to keep looking at this. This... Fun fact, this was actually one of the first wooden railway models that I had, but not this one. This one I, this one I lost like years ago, like, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. And the only thing I had left was its tender. Fuck, was its tender. And it's in pretty bad condition compared to this one. Coming from eBay, this is actually in pretty good condition, but I've had this thing for like a really long time. Like, say, maybe 10, 11 years. But, yeah, um, at least on this one, it says the name of the engine on the bottom, as if it didn't do that on the front of the box. And I'm pretty sure that, that on the box for the 1999 Gordon, um, I don't know if they did add their names, because I don't have a box to prove it, but, you know, I actually think that back in 1994, when these first came out, they just didn't have the names. It was just a picture in the back, and the engine was just was just in its box and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, 
but also with this one, it was in like a clear plastic box, I assume. And uh, I th I'm pretty sure that it had the name in the front and a pamphlet in the back. Something that these came with as well. Well, not like a collector card or anything. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, this one also says Gordon's tender on the bottom. Because who are you going to give this tender to? Thomas? Well, I mean, you could. This is the most cursed thing I think I've ever seen. Anyways, uh, here you go, Gordon. You take your tenders back. But, yeah, um, much, I kind of prefer the design of this Gordon over this Gordon. But, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be comparing. So, you might not be able to see very clearly, but let's just do a dramatic zoom in. Okay, so the first thing that you'll notice is that the faces are dramatically different. I don't know why I say dramatically. Because um, if you look at the 1999 uh, Gordon, it, lo it looks much happier. But with this one, he just looks like he's smug, like he's just... Or something. I don't know how to describe it. Um, the domes... Uh, mine is... Mine's... Ch pain is chipping, but this one looks pretty good. It looks nice, it looks fine. And now, now let's look at the sides... Um, wheels are all in the same place. The sides, uh, this, the 1999 Gordon doesn't have any lining. And the window isn't, and the window lines aren't painted. But on this one, you got handrails, which I didn't mention. You got lining, the, the boiler arch, which I still don't know the name of, even though they could have painted it over, because that's how it looks in the series. And they painted the windows. Which is kind of a plus for me. Um, and I think the tenders are bigger. Sorry, my cat's in here. No, the tenders are the exact same size, but I swear to God, they look bigger. Like, if you were to look from my perspective, it looks way bigger. But, I mean... Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty good models. But, I gotta say... I much prefer this Gordon rather than this one. Hi, hunty. Sorry, it's my cat. Because this one, it just doesn't really, it just doesn't really look like Gordon because you don't have the main Gordon features. Like, you don't have his arch thing, you don't have his lining, you don't have his bright blue paint because it's all chipping off. With this one, you got the nice blue paint. Handrails, lining, the number four is actually kind of visible, with, but with this one, it's kind of rubbing off. But that's probably because of my end. Uh, it's made of a nice wood, like really nice. I'm sure that they're both made of the same type of wood, but either way. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I much prefer, I'd much rather prefer this one in like, like durability. Because I'm sure that if you throw this against the wall, it won't really chip as much. Whereas with like this one, because of how the because of how the wood ages, you could throw that against the wall and paint chips would go everywhere. So, even though I mostly prefer this one in terms of detail, I prefer this one in terms of like quality. Even though I was just talking about how it doesn't really have that much quality to it. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I prefer this one for, I guess, the age of it because this is this this was a massive improvement to to um, most of the toys that we've gotten back in the eighties, like like Ertl. This was kind of a big change, and it really and it really um, renovated the company, I guess. You could say, I have no idea what I'm even talking about. But, this made a really big change, and if this got that big to essentially become this, then I just, I can just come out and clean and just say that I kind of prefer both of them. Because this one made this, because if this made this, then that's a pretty fair shot for me. 
Uh, yeah. Maybe next time I'll review a, a James and a Percy at another time. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you guys for tuning into my last review. It was a really long one. And yeah, so and so. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.